Good morning everyone and welcome again to Mr. Ong Mat Lesson. And in the last series of our videos on cosine rule and sine rule, we are going to calculate the angles using the cosine rule formula. This is slightly different from the first three formula. The formula is that three sides will be given and you can find either angle A, angle B or angle C. So the formula to calculate an angle is cosine A equals to B squared plus C squared minus A squared divided by 2 multiplied by B multiplied by C. Just remember, if you're calculating A, then you must minus the lowercase a. So if you are ready, we shall look at some of the rules that's required. But because we are calculating A instead of cosine A, you need to inverse the cosine to get your final answer. So we shall have the rule. The rule is that again, A, B, C are the angle and the sides opposite the angle A is written as lowercase a. The sides opposite angle B is lowercase b and the sides opposite angle C is the lowercase c. So now, the rule is that to do this, you need to have three known values and one unknown. You are looking for the angle. So to do that, you have the three sides given. And the next rule is that in this particular example, three sides must be given and you need to find one of the angles. So that is the rule for finding the angles using the cosine rule. So again, I repeat, three known values. In this case, all three sides must be known and the unknown will be one of the angles you want to calculate. And if three sides are given, then we can find any angle. We shall look at the first example. Okay, the first example looks like that, okay? So you have a triangle ABC, and the sides opposite C is eight centimeters. The sides opposite uh, the uppercase A is 13, and the sides opposite B is seven centimeters. So again, the formula is cos cosine A equal to B squared plus C squared minus A squared divide by 2bc. So we are looking at finding angle A, which is what we want to find. So to do that, once you have that in place, we are just going to substitute. So instead of cos A, we're going to calculate cos A, that's what we want to find, equals to now b squared. b squared is the sides here, so it could be 7 squared plus c squared is 8 squared minus a squared, a squared is 13 squared. And you divide by 2 bracket 7 multiply by 8. Okay, I suggest you don't put every num all the numbers in the calculator at once. I suggest you calculate the numerator and then you calculate the denominator. I've done it before. 7 squared plus 8 squared minus 13 squared comes up to negative 56. And then 2 times 7 times 8 come up to 112. If you put in your calculator, it's going to be negative 0.5. So again, as I said before, this is not the answer because you are interested in A and not cosine A. So those of you who have done calculus, you know, to get A, you just need to inverse the answer, cosine negative 0.5, put in your calculator and you will get 120 degrees and that will give you an achieve in NCA level 2. Not too bad, right? Okay, we shall look at another example, a different triangle with different numbers. Okay, so now this is example two. So again, we have A, B, C. This time we are looking for angle B. So this is the angle we want to find. So the formula to calculate angle B is cosine B, okay, equals to the reverse. So it's going to be A squared plus C squared minus B squared. As I said before, the B and the B had to be the same at the, the start and end and then to multiply by 2 times a times c so you can replace b or c with any other letters x y or z so the same principle apply so now we are going to substitute so cosine b is still remain it's going to be a squared your a squared is now 7 squared because a is the opposite of the angle a your c squared is now 5 squared and you minus 9 squared that's your b squared and then you multiply 2 by 7 by 5 
Again, I repeat, you are going to do the numerator first and then you divide by the denominator. Okay, so five step, put in your calculator 7 squared plus 5 squared minus 9 squared and our calculator is to be minus 7. And then 2 times 7 times 5 and I found out to be 70. If you put in your calculator again, minus 7 divided by 70 is going to be minus 0 0.1. Is that the answer? Unfortunately, no. You have to do one more step to get your B. You have to inverse the cos of cos, inverse 0 0.1. And make sure you are in the degree mode, not the radian mode. If you are in the radian mode, you will get the wrong answer. Now you put in your calculator, it's negative 1, sorry. Put in your calculator, and I found it before, it's going to be 95.7 degrees. And again, that will give you an achieve. That is not too bad, right? Hope you enjoy this video. Keep practicing. All, watch all the four videos, the sine rule and the cosine rule, both to sides and angle. And if you can do that, you should be able to get an achieve in this internal. That's worth two, uh, worth three credit. Thank you and have a good day. Cheers.